of using this tape recorder because of the obviously very professional way that it's being done, but I thought I'd just uh, see what we could do here in the way of uh, panning on our humble abode that we use here in the summertime and uh, uh, show whoever may be interested that uh, this, is, this is where we live and how we live. And, that brown shed right there happens to be my office. Uh, uh, I have a little computer in there, and I'm very happy. Thank you very much when I'm in there. This is the uh, this is the lake that we uh, that's in front of our our humble abode. Uh, it's a pretty small lake, as you can obviously see here, and uh, uh, several boats out there on the on the piers. And then, of course, as we pan down towards the uh, that is west, you can see the beach and the uh, the other end of the lake. Again, a very small lake. I imagine not much more than five, six, seven hundred acres at the most. Whilst we're on the subject of the lake, I thought I'd uh, I'd come down here and give you an idea of where our friends, the neighbors, and our friends and neighbors, I should say, uh, live. They've got a uh, an absolutely smashing place right up here on the on top of this hill. I'll zoom in there, and you can get a better look at this magnificent porch they put on it. It's probably pretty hard to tell on this. Uh, we'll get up there a little closer and give you a better look at it. But in the meantime, we have a, a young man who's doing his thing on, on his jet ski. Looks like it would be an awful lot of fun, doesn't it? Wouldn't mind doing that myself. Uh, things go like crazy and they're loud as heck, but uh, the young guys sure do seem to be having a lot of fun on them around this lake. Get the, as we get closer to this humble abode, I believe that's Mr. Dykinga up there sitting on his deck, the open side of it, and, and, his, lov and his lovely wife, Isla, who's sitting there grinning down at me and wondering just why is that big fat guy standing there on the beach pointing that camera up here. But I just thought I'd take a picture of this, uh, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of things you could help me with, sir. And that's a tree trunk in case anybody's interested. But the, uh, they're up, way up on a hill, and hang on here without, well, I'm jerking the camera a lot, but so what. And you can see the, you can see the stairs coming down here to the beach. And he has a picnic bench and whatnot down here, and there's a fire ring, and that again is the lake and that young man out there in the uh, ski boat or wave runner or whatever they call him. You know we get some interesting interesting shadows and lighting here on the beach uh, uh, in the afternoon it's uh, it's about uh, seven o'clock in the evening in, in the uh, uh, these folks are obviously still out there swimming around and having a good time, and uh, it's certainly warm enough where they should be doing that. Uh, but the, I love the lighting here in the evening. Uh, uh, the, the, the trees and, and whatnot across the lake pick up a, a very nice color. It's, uh, it's really a very pleasant, uh, unpleasant day. It's a very pleasant to look out over and uh, I'm sharing it with you and I'm sure I'll be doing more of that as time goes on uh, but that's that's again the lake and in our our immediate area around us okay here's the uh, here's the back side of the place and, and uh, there's the oft mentioned uh, golf cart which is Normally kept covered. Forgive the uh, jiggling around, by the way, but I'm obviously walking as I'm showing you this. Uh, uh, but that's the cart that uh, we use to to traipse around the campground in and then uh, take our grandkids for rides and whatnot. And it's just an awful lot of fun. And we've we've enjoyed it and can, we'll continue to enjoy it. This scene will uh, pretty much give you an idea of the of the campground atmosphere here. These are our neighbors across the road, and uh, uh, you can see what type of uh, uh, trailer configurations we have here. Uh, uh, I'm sure Ed Morales would find this 
somewhat interesting. Uh, and again, this is this is our place with our porch and uh, the pretty big roof that we had put over the top of the the thing, and uh, it's worked out very well for us. It's 39 foot of living and, uh, uh, and 12 feet wide, and uh, uh, plus the porch, and very nice. Thank you. Obviously, uh, we're looking at a Florida license plate, and I wonder who that might belong to. We'll, uh, we'll have to pan back and see, and this is a this is the back side of the the Lunenburg abode, and uh, what you're seeing back there is the is the uh, is the Cologne, or is the Lunenburg uh, uh, bedroom. And then this tip out is the Lenneberg front room, and in between is a kitchen and a bathroom. And uh, uh, not much, but we enjoy it a lot, and that's what we look like from the backside. And this is the magnificent oak tree that towers above our our summer home, and it's just it's just a wonderful tree. It gives us shade virtually all day long, which on cool days is not a real good deal because uh, we have a tendency to be cool here by the lake but uh, uh, in the uh, uh, in the warm days it's just just wonderful to have it and uh, as you can see Bobby has planted bushes around the uh, around the side of the building and and whatnot and then we have railroad ties that go down the, the side and and they have uh, each one has a planter of flowers on it and, uh, so we try and keep it as respectable as possible. The building that you're seeing down there at the end, past that white Cadillac, is the uh, that's the office building, and it's uh, uh, it's where we get our our ice cubes, and uh, we can they, they sell you know uh, basic uh, things like uh, uh, soups and cereals and whatnot, and obviously a lot of beer, and uh, uh, so it's a it's a rather popular place here in the here in the campground, that's looking out back behind us, and that's that's obviously the the old Beater Buick that we're all familiar with, and uh, the '86 Buick that is. And there we have uh, the other side, and car going by. It's a busy weekend here. This is a this is a Friday, and and uh, people are I'm sorry, it's a Thursday, but people are still pouring in as they. Are want to do on uh, on summer weekends. So, so a very popular campground in this part of the, the state of Wisconsin. Well, uh, here you have a a view of a little wall that's in front of our our uh, trailer. And as we pan back, this is the the front with the propane bottles in front. Ed, you'll relate to that. And there's of course the porch and and uh, <laughs> and towels hanging out on the line because Bobby washed all of our uh, our lanai furniture today and used the, the towels for that and you can see the front end of the golf cart there on the uh, left hand corner of the, the screen again we're uh, we're looking at the the front of the the trailer and we're we're on the beach and uh, there's somebody out there fooling around on their their pontoon boat pulling a uh, kid on an inner tube and He's no doubt having a, a great deal of fun. And uh, you know, the always present paddle boats. We've always got paddle boats out on our lake. Um, again, that pier with lots of pontoon boats. This lake is uh, quite popular with pontoon boats. Uh, folks like to have them. It's a, they're slow. It's a small lake, so there's no reason to have a real speedboat here, although some folks do. And and uh, it's just a, a very nice way of getting around the lake. We had a pontoon boat up until last year and enjoyed it very much. And as I say, it's a perfect lake for doing pontooning. Over there, by the way, there was a... Uh, it was an ice house. This lake is called Clear Lake, and uh, it, it was a uh, it was a place where they they built an ice house and they used to come out here and, and cut ice in the winter time and then uh, sell it in Janesville all summer long. 
the water is very clean here, and, or was clean here, and still remains so today. So it's a, it's a, it's a past thing, and they just, just in a couple, a couple, the last couple of years, have taken down the, uh, what was left, the remnants of the ice house. Or the children And as we can see, Grandma's getting ready to welcome Kelly. And there she is! Yay! There's Kelly. Yes, she's coming towards Papa right now. Hi, Kelly. How are you? How are you? How is the baby, huh? How are you? It's a big. Girl. My goodness, look at all the hair. <laughs> and there's her mommy. Well, Grandpa falls all over himself. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, boy. This, by the way, is Kelly on her way, obviously, to the beach. We're going to do some serious <laughs> sun time here. And uh, obviously, she wants to go. Uh, uh, stylishly and, and that sort of thing. So she has put on her very best beach wear. Uh, Kelly Belly, you look smashing. You hi, really do. Hi. Say hi to everybody. She's looking at her outfit. She's showing yes, it's shot, just, huh? it's just a wonderful outfit. It's well coordinated. Bye and bye. 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 Have a good time, ladies. <laughs> Have a very nice time. Behave yourself. Bye. And now Miss Kelly brings her mother and her grandmother back from the beach. It's a couple hours later. They've actually spent quite a bit of time at the beach. And uh, as you can see, she still has on her magnificent beach robe. And notice how gently she walks. And Grandma, of course, is always very careful about the golf carts and whatnot. Well, did you folks have a nice time at the beach? Oh, yes. Good time to see. Obviously, she's not going to answer me. Mm -hmm. It's the same every place else you go, but for some reason, sunsets up here are just really very special and very pretty. We've got a uh, couple of young men down there that are that are fishing. I'll zoom in on them for just a minute. And Let's see if we can find out what they're catching, which can't be much at this time of the night. But they're having a good time, and they uh, they think it's going to work out okay. And with a little luck, maybe they will get a little bass or something. And the lake's got the uh, lake's got bass in them, in it. Uh, it's uh, it's no longer the great fishing lake that it was at one time, but uh, it does have bass and lots of carp, a lot of carp, and a um, gazillion little panfish that are about six inches long, and if that, and uh, little kids just love to catch them on, on co pieces of corn on a small hook. It's a, it's a great lake for, for people to, to bring little kids to that have never fished before, because you can be guaranteed with a little piece of corn on a f small fish hook that you're going to, you're going to catch a, uh, you're going to catch a little fish. It's as simple as that. And I think that's about enough of this uh, tonight. But uh, I just wanted you to enjoy the, the sunset as I slowly pan around here. And I hope these colors are being picked up because they are just beautiful, particularly as they reflect off the lake. Uh, what is it about water that, that makes... Uh, make sunsets and clouds and whatever uh, just extra special pretty but that's enough for tonight we'll uh we'll go on to something else tomorrow on this tape well as you can see by the uh, the date stamp on the on the film it's the 21st of july it's a, a tuesday or is it a wednesday whatever it is and we're on the south side uh we're in crustwood uh, we're at bernice's condominium and uh i think jim taylor will find this rather interesting. That happens to be Bernice's condo right right there. Well, I'll zoom in for just a second. You can see her, her front lanai. Uh, very nice, very nice condominium building. 
Uh, she's in an association with 28, 28 people. There's obviously uh, 14 units apparently in each one of these uh, in each one of these buildings. Uh, she has. A, you can see there just past the the uh, Circle Crest sign that there's garages. That's where she keeps her car. She's got a garage berth. Now I'm going to try and do this with a minimum of jiggling, but. Uh, She's got a, this is a security building, so she's got a, a buzzer, and I prop the door open with a rock, which is probably something you're not supposed to do, but I did it anyway, and uh, uh, so I'll go in, and we'll, we'll see the inside of the condo. Okay, we're inside the hallway now. We've just gone through the front door, and if I can do this without walking into any obstructions, we'll, we'll come in here and see if anybody's home. Oh, my gosh. Four hours. There you can see the kitchen straight across from the front door. Her little entertainment center, the dining room. That's the lanai that we were looking at earlier. And I don't know if you can see these two lovely young ladies sitting here on the on the couch, but Bernice refuses to look up at the camera. Well, you, all you got to do is wave and say hello. Hi. Yeah, because we're going to send this to Jim. So, and I'm sure he's going to be real interested to see see what what you how you live and. Your beautiful kind. This is I'm um, turning around as the the front room, and then we walk back in through here. And again, if I can do this without walking into a wall, we'll be just fine. On the left is a utility room. On our right here is is a very nice sized bathroom. Uh, I don't know how well this is going to show up with the dark lighting, but uh, uh, that's the guest bath here. And then we go a little further down the, the hall here to the Jim Taylor suite, which is most adequate. Uh, nice, bright room. I'll back up just a little, and then I make a right-hand turn. And this is uh, Bernice's workbench. And again, it's a carbon copy of the guest room. Uh, very comfortable just a, a real neat place and she has a bathroom through that doorway I won't bother showing it to you it's a typical bathroom so I'm turning around now to walk back out of the room and we'll go back down the, the hallway back to the back to the front room here Bernice has just gotten cable TV so she's really enjoying her her variety of shows that she's got now. Very nice kitchen. Uh, there's a microwave. We just picked that up today. She's just spending money like a drunken sailor, like she's got it. But she wanted a, a $90 microwave, and by gosh, we went out and we just we just got ourselves one of those, uh, so that she can nuke all sorts of good things instead of having to stand over a hot stove. Uh, it's a small kitchen, but very nice. And then we come out here, and she's got herself a nice little china cabinet I guess you'd call that or a hutch whatever and uh, her dining room table and again you look out uh, and that's the lanai she's got a, a wall of windows here which is really very nice and uh, again there's Bernice in her her usual spot here watching Geraldo and and uh, catching up on all the latest gossip in Hollywood and environs further west like Honolulu because we don't have any yes. we don't have any scandals here in the Midwest huh? Take us the flowers that oh yeah okay uh, Jim you sent her some flowers and she wants to show you what they look like I I, I hope the, the camera does it justice very pretty arrangement and she seems to be very very happy with it so you scored a lot of points you're probably not out of the will there and there you are again I don't know I don't know where Bobby went but I'm gonna stop this video for now I think you got an idea of what we have here and so as I said earlier outside it's a very comfortable place to be okay this will be it for now for Bernice well we've returned from uh, Bernice's house to Carrie's house and uh, we're now sitting in her her family room and waiting for Carrie and Tara to get home from work Carrie from work and Tara home from that concentration camp that she claims she has to stay in every day. Uh, we think it's a, a pretty nice babysitter, but 
uh, we're only the grandparents, what do we know? This is the rather sparsely decorated uh, family room of Carrie and Ted. Ted happens to be in Atlanta as we speak uh, uh, on business, and, and Tara is going to make her appearance through that doorway right there that we're looking at. I, I just hope that this lighting is okay in here to, uh, uh, to pick it up, but uh, she should be home just any second now. So in the meantime, we'll just kind of pan around Carrie's house and walk around and see what we can run into here. Uh, and again, forgive the jiggling around, but it's not easy when you're trying to take movies to uh, avoid walking into things. That's the stairway going up to the second floor. There's three very nice bedrooms up there. This obviously is the, the front room and dining room. Uh, and their dining room table. And then a, a pass through into the into the kitchen. And their their lanai out there. Uh, a small one but very nice. It's got uh, everything that you'd want in a lanai. It's got a charcoal grill to, to feed yourself with and it's got uh, a, a sandbox for Tara to play in and and a table and chairs to sit around and that's very nice. And that's about the extent of the house. So I'm going to turn this thing off for a minute and just sit around and wait for Tara to make her appearance through those aforementioned doors. Hang on. For uh, While we're waiting for Tara and her mother to appear on the scene, I thought I'd come out here and kind of pan around the, the back side of their house and give you an idea of the complex that they live in. Uh, the reason, by the way, that we were at Bernice's this morning, or actually this afternoon, and now it carries uh, this ap later this evening, uh, is that we do this about every 10 days to two weeks. Coming, Whoops, she's coming. I better go in the house. Well, there's Grandma waiting to greet her. And uh, they've just... Oh, boy. Tara's really tickled to see her Grandma. Uh, as I was starting to say earlier, until they get in the house, we, we'll we stay at Carrie's tonight and then uh, go and see my mother tomorrow and take care of her business. And then uh, we're going to take Tara back up with us to Wisconsin and, uh, and in fact leave Friday morning and go up uh, to northern Wisconsin. Here she comes. There comes Tara Lynn. Yes. Hi. How are you? How are you? Uh, Grandpa's taking pictures. Say hi. That a girl. Can you say I love you? I love you. I do you have a hoarse throat or is that the way you always talk? Huh? Say chow baby. How baby. How baby or chow baby? Chow baby. Chow baby. <laughs> yeah. And here comes here comes the bear's mommy with bags bags of something or other. Hopefully gifts for mom and dad. <laughs> Um, probably, probably um, not. Yeah, I think I have some bells in here or something. Yeah, sure. Well, um, so this cool this will be the story of our life for the next week and a half mm -hmm. because we will have Tara up north with us for the next week and a half, and we're Tara, looking forward to it. Terror. AKA Terror. Yes. Terror, well, chow baby. Go so, tell Papa chow baby. Well, there'll there'll be a lot more movies later, so I'll turn this off. This was kind of exciting because we haven't seen her in a couple of weeks, but. Uh, uh, Oh boy, um, we're we're hungry and we're begging already. The girls are off to, to my mother's house uh, this evening for dinner, and uh, they're going to meet Kathy over there. And uh, Kathy's just become an Avon lady, so I'm sure Grandma will be buying lots of stuff from Kathy. And uh, and then we'll uh, uh, and I'm going to go over to some friend's house, and uh, we'll we'll meet back here later on this evening, and uh, then off on our Northwoods adventure this next week. So, as I say, you'll see a lot more movies of Tara, I'm sure, as, uh, as this week unfolds. We're at Grandma, oh, Grandma Kaiser's house, and Kelly and Kathy are here, and Tara, and Carrie, and the girl, yes, this is July 21st. Hi, girls. Girls. Girls, say hi to Grandma. 
Say hi. Oh, they're so busy playing. Hi. Playing so nice. You want to give hugs and kisses to each other for Grandma? Hugs and kisses? Callie, give Tara a hug. No, oh, no, don't, no, hit. don't hit. Don't hit, Tara. Kisses, no, no. hugs and kisses only. Oh, oh that's oh. nice. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Tara, do it again. Hugs and kisses. Hugs and kisses. Hey, Kathleen. Hey. I don't want to oh. <laughs> do your own. There's Carrie yeah. and there's yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't think you'd want to Vivian. Vivian. Yeah. Yeah. Can give her a little coke? Mm -hmm. All right, I'll give her some coke. Mm -hmm. Okay, go get Nana. What's Nana doing? Miss Kelly. Okay, I think we'll turn this off for a minute. Okay. And then we'll turn it back on later. Maybe listening to mommy talk too much. Two. Two. Oh, Are, you girls, Kelly? Are you girls Are you having dessert? Two of them for Kelly. Okay, those are Tara's. Say hi to Nana. Blow kisses to Nana. Now go on your cookies. Blow kisses. Blow kisses. Tara, mom, mom. Ah, Kelly and Tara. Are They're you, eating you so nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are you eating? What are you eating? Um. What is that, Kathy? What would you rather have? Mom fixed. Mom's some okay. beautiful dessert. Chocolate or a banana? I think I'll have a little of each. Yeah, me too, Mom. <laughs> me too. Okay. All of us. A little of each. Good. <laughs> <How about me? laughs> We're supposed to not go <laughs> We know how to live on the end. Let's go in. Baby. Ciao, baby. Give her kisses. Give her kisses. Nice. <laughs> That's you, kid, too. <laughs> She's going to be so messy. No, it's chocolate. Well, as you can see by the uh, the date on the screen, it's uh, the 23rd of July, and we're we're up at Dick and Gale Sheeplebines. That young man standing right there is Quinn. That's Debbie's son. And this, of course, is little Tara Ryzik. And we're about ready to, to walk down a whole bunch of stairs down the hill. And there's a pontoon boat down there that we'll, uh, we'll be taking yeah, out for a ride. Yours? No, I don't. Thanks, Dick. Oh. And uh, uh, I've already got mine. Oh, okay. We're talking about drinks here, obviously. Uh, uh, and it's the first one of the day. We just launched the boat down the other end of the lake. And uh, I drove the truck back with the trailer, and Dick brought the boat over here to his, his pier. You can see this is really Northwood stuff. Uh, we're talking very dense woods, and I'll take movies of the house later on, but it uh, gives you an idea of the, uh, the remoteness of this area. It's just beautiful. And uh, it's only about 72, 73 degrees up here. And uh, back down Jamesville, it was expected to be in the mid-80s, so it gives you an idea of how much further north we are. We're about 350 miles north of Jamesville. Almost up to the, uh, almost up to Lake Superior. Uh, Bobby's going to have to carry this little one down those steps, or I am. So I'll stop this for a minute, and then we'll, uh, when we're on the boat, I'll start taking some more. We're we're now on the boat, and uh, we have we have Admiral Schiefelbein directing things from the, uh, what do they call it on a boat? The the bridge. The bridge. Thank the you very much. Wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that place, that place where you sit when you're going to steer the boat. Jack in the front of the boat. And and. Uh, <laughs> Otherwise known as starboard and port, but to do something down there. And uh, we're going out on this beautiful lake, and uh, uh, here's a picture of Mrs. Schiefelbein taking a picture, <laughs> which is which is rather strange. And we're we're going over here into the great unknown, and Lord knows where we're going to wind up at. Well, you're pointing toward Muskie Bay right now. Aha, uh -huh, Muskie Bay. We just, when we were launching this boat, an older couple came up to us, and uh, they were pulling their boat out, and they said, we hope you guys aren't going musky fishing in this lake, because there are no musky in this lake. And Dick said, that's interesting. I live on this lake, and I catch muskies all the time. And they, uh, they looked at him in total disbelief and shrugged their shoulders and walked away.
We're, uh, we're, not in the wind we're in the process of, uh, of having cocktail hour here. It's about a quarter after four in the afternoon, and uh, we have all kinds of goodies being un unraveled here. And uh, by the way, Carrie, uh, your daughter was absolutely fantastic on the drive up here today. Not a whimper. We played for an hour at the McDonald's. We had a great time. Uh, it was uh, it was a very pleasurable trip to have her along. And, uh, a lot of giggling, and we had a lot of a lot of good time. We, we don't understand what your problem with your kid is. There's a uh, an airplane on the shore. I'll zoom in. I'm breaking my back doing it, so I'll zoom back out again. And, uh, change my position. And we'll try this all over again. I'm trying to do this without spilling my martini, and I'm right in the way of the captain. Dick, you don't mind if I get in your way, do you? No. That guy's got a nice little seaplane right there that he uh, cruises around in. Dick and Gay will say that they've, uh, they've been on it. So, that's class when you when you fly up to your cabin up in the north woods in your own seaplane. Well, this is, uh, this is Rudy. He's a gigantic chocolate lab. And, of course, that's Quinn, who is Rudy's master. And then we have the lovely and talented Smiley. Miss Smiley. Yes, yes. Yeah. Always smiling. We're off. Uh, we're going to uh, go to a town, and we're going to go to McDonald's and have, a, uh, and have a hamburger or whatever, and then we're going to take a train ride today. And this is the back side of... Uh, uh, the Schiefelbein home up here in Tell Wisconsin. Tell about the porch that's going to go up there. And there's going to be a porch that's going to go right there in the middle. And, and that's the porch is in pieces behind all you. that there is to say about that. That's a car, and you don't want to really know what that is, because that's a truck that uh, is being held together by Bondo. It's, I have no idea what year it is. I drove it yesterday. Oh, okay, you must have heard him. 108,000, runs like a fine Swiss watch. And it's for sale if anybody wants it. As a matter of fact, I'll pick it Oops, I think uh, I'm... Well, there goes Mr. Schiefelbein now. Uh, uh, to get his glasses, I guess. And uh, these two little monkeys are... Uh, 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 no throwing rocks, Tara. No, 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 Quinn, don't do that. If you hit somebody, it's going to hurt them. You don't want to hurt people. Come on, you guys! Don't throw rocks. Well, so much for, so much for obedience. Monkey see, monkey do here. I did. Yeah, you did it. Yeah. Well, here comes, here comes Grandma Lunneberg. I'm not bringing my wallet here. Uh oh. Well. Is that going to be a problem? Well, it's going to be a problem in that you're not going to be able to do anything, or eat. Because I've got my money. Well, I'll take care of Tara, but that's it. You can see that Rudy is a pretty big dog in uh, in dog dump. I tried to convince her not to throw rocks, but the. Uh, yeah. Okay, guys, no more rock throwing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Are we going well, we uh, we have just returned from a, a trip to the the Golden Arches. Uh, we're in Ironwood, Michigan. We're about ready to get on a train and uh, uh, take.